My name is Andre Leon Kiulana and I'm 21 years of age and I come from Nairobi, Kenya. Coronavirus. Whew. So the thing drops on March, Friday the 13th. And according to what we had seen on other news uh, platforms, CNN, BBC, World News and all these things, even on the internet and YouTube, is that this was a crazy disease, something that was devastating and even going to a new month would seem like a miracle. So uh, we have our patient one and it's breaking news and it's uh, coronavirus in Kenya. That was the headline. And everyone knows we are done because first of all, we had... We, we, we had fear because our medical uh, our medical industry is not as profound as the medical industries in the in the countries that were affected hard countries like Italy countries like the US so for us basically we were living with the hope that it doesn't hit us as bad and truly it hasn't hit us as bad because uh, three three months later we're in August and we are on 27,000 cases. Uh, probably 28 today but the effects of corona were not shied upon because economically uh, education wise tourism wise everything dropped and personally for me it affected me mentally in the sense that during the weeks that we were in quarantine actually thinking of this thinking that man this could be it that was crazy for most people and it was also crazy for myself so it, it did give a highly negative effects and then also among those uh, the country was locked down and the country was locked down at 7 p.m. it was it was a night lockdown in the sense that people are not supposed to go outside at 7 p.m. so when this was announced the police went outside and they I don't know if they had the orders to do it but they went and exercised their force and they and the muscle and they whooped people in the streets so many people i remember the first car city to be hit was mombasa uh, with this and people were being beaten at six that was an hour before the curfew the curfew time was and this was crazy and it continued so it is continued into the month and everything until now the government stepped in and actually warned against it things got darker in the sense that there was the numbers the government is reporting of the people who have died with corona and then now the numbers of people who have been killed uh, by the by police on the streets and these numbers of the people who are killed by police in the streets was actually more and this actually happened during the time when the whole world was kind of outside demonstrating on the on matters blm matters police brutality and back home the crowds were being dispersed by being whipped uh, they were tear gassed and actually the police actually ended up killing more people than actually corona did during that span of time I stay in touch with my friends physically. The ones who live next to me, we meet, we, we talk, we discuss about the corona. But the ones who live far away in different countries, social media is the platform. And that's what I used to stay in touch with them. Yeah. Definitely long-lasting changes will be instilled by coronavirus. Because coronavirus has painted a different picture from the tradition. You see, people thought that you had to go to an office, that you had to go to a classroom. <laughs> thought that you had to go to an office, to a classroom. But once coronavirus hit, uh, the country started embracing more the digital and online aspect of things. So people are going to work uh, from their home. Uh, people are going to school from home through platforms like Zoom, Skype, whatever. And that is a change that I believe will be there even after. It won't, for some jobs, it won't be a must for you to go to a traditional office. You could go to the online office. Another change is the masks. I believe that the masks uh, that people have on is something that will stay for a very long time. Because even personally for me, 
I think even after COVID is gone, I'll still put on the masks because it's become a fashion statement one and it also protects from so many other things, dust, whatnot, yeah. Unity and teamwork basically of, of countries. See, many countries are out there trying to look for the, vi for the virus vaccine, uh, for the cure of the virus and everything. And this unity that these guys have is an actual positive thing in the sense that even after COVID is gone, the world will turn into a sort of global village. In quotes. People will be more connected. Industries will grow broader. Diversity and change will come through from this. And coronavirus has been more of a reset button and we have to go back and rethink things and replan things. So yeah, after the vaccine comes out, after the unfortunate deaths come out, and after people count the small blessings that they have. For example, being here right now, it's August the 13th. Being here right now is a blessing. After all this is said and done, I think we have to go back and appreciate every single day better than we did before this happened.